Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome back to my studio. Today you're seeing something a little bit different on my table. G with Happiness and Crafting has uh, honored me with the invitation to be a guest designer on her team. So I'm going to be doing a few projects using one of her gorgeous kits. Um, if you have a chance, go to her Etsy shop and, and I will have the links below. Check out her, her digitals and her shop. She does fabulous work. I, I am just I've always loved her stuff. I have purchased over the years many of her kits. So let's get started. Um, I chose the Shabby Chic French Collection. And it comes in two separate kits. So you can, you know, just get one or get both, um, depending on your needs. This one is part one. And it's got some lovely little shapes to use for ephemera, for layering. Um, they're gorgeous. <laughs> they're absolutely gorgeous. Each one of these are just a perfect little picture. Um, the, the colors, I hope they're coming across on my video. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, the background is the perfect vintage color, in my opinion. Um, and, uh, yeah, they are just, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, the little documents peeking out, the script, um, the beautiful flowers all through. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, um, it's gorgeous. It, it, there's just no other word for it. I am so in awe of people that can do this. And G especially is very talented in, in putting these together. They flow so nicely. Um, the script peeking out, the flowers, um, the postcards, just, oh, everything. It's just it's just a yummy, <laughs> it's just a yummy kit. The colors are gorgeous. Um, my printer chose to put this border on, on it. So yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> but that's, that's my printer it has chosen to put this border on here. So I, I don't know how to get it to not, but Look at this. Isn't this the most beautiful kit? The colors are so fabulous. The flowers, um, the script, everything. It's just amazing. There's another one. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, elements in here. Um, it's just, she does a wonderful job. Uh, good attention to layout and composition. And that was, that was part one. That was kit one, whatever you want to call it. This is part two. And this has some lovely smaller renditions of the larger pages that you could use for journaling cards or tags or for layering, whatever you want to do. This has got some fun shapes to it to work with. And e each one of these are just the perfect little picture. It's, it's just beautiful. I... I hope it's coming across well, but this is a stunning kit and the colors are just fabulous. And it truly is shabby chic, truly is shabby chic. It's just amazing. Again, the beautiful rose and the postcard with the postage stamps in the back. 
this is more of a neutral. You could use this for a background or for backing. This one as well. It's great for um, a background or backing on tags or journaling cards. It's a beautiful picture. I, I just love the composition and how she places things. It's very well done. Very well done indeed. Beautiful rose. I love the script. Has some more fun little shapes to play with. I didn't do anything. I just, I printed. I didn't adjust. I didn't do anything. This is the way this page comes. It's like um, half size of, of two of the larger ones. Here's some more journaling cards. Again, I mean, these are just so beautiful. Just beautiful. And that's the last one. Another um, sheet of a uh, smaller size of the larger pages for journaling, journal cards or whatever. So... Anyway, that's what we're going to be using. So let's get this party started. Okay, so we are going to make um, this shape right here. Okay. And we're going to start with uh, one of the pages from the kit. And I want to measure three inches wide. So we're going to get a strip like that. And another three inches. There, like that. So we got this left over. We'll keep that. All right. And these strips here... We want them to be eight inches long. So I'm gonna figure out what, what side I want to keep and what I want to cut off. <laughs> and, and maybe I want to keep that. So eight inches. And we'll cut that off. And eight inches. There we go. Put this away. Okay, now we have two strips like this. So we're going to get out our little scoreboard here. And we're going to go in three inches. So let's end three inches and make a score at three and four. Oops. <laughs> Get this in there right. Three and four and five. Okay. Take the next one. And uh, how's that going to work? I guess that's going to be upside down no matter what I do. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, get this in there and make a score at three, four, and five. All right. Done with that. Okay, so now let's look at this again. So the middle one we want to fold on the, the middle score. 
so you have score one, two, and three. So you want to fold on number three, right? Okay, you want to fold up on number three. Yep, fold up on number three. That's gonna go like that. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> it was different. I mean, if you could use paper that's double sided like this, you'd probably be better. Or if I would have printed on the other side of, of this paper, that would have been good. Now, at this point in time, if you want to, you can round the corners like I have on, on this one, or or not. It, it's up to you. I like the rounded corners best. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So, you know what? If I... Hmm. Let's see. This comes up like that. There. <laughs> okay, that's that's a little better anyway. All right. So, so this is what you have. An M as it were. Okay, so let's do this one while we while we have it out so that's your outside this is your inside you want to bring the middle score you want to fold everything back make sure that is straight when you fold it okay and then bring it up like this Okay, so that's what you have, and that's what you have. You might want to pause right now. <laughs> okay, and then this comes up like this. And my paper isn't quite square for some reason. So, I'll try and teach the paper <laughs> what I want it to do right now. Okay, so, and I am going to round the corners on here. Okay, so here we go. We got two of them, and that's what they're looking like. That's what they look like right now on the inside, okay? So, at this point, uh, if you want to ink, if you want, you know, if you, if you need to decorate, like you have, you know, just plain white, like what I've got here. Probably need to do something. See now, if I, when I printed out um, this kit, had I turned it over and printed it on the back side with just, you know, plain coffee, coffee dyed or tea dyed type of background page um, it, it would have been a lot better <laughs> but I didn't do that so get this inked up and uh So, 
there. So this one is 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 pretty okay on the front. I wouldn't do anything with that. Okay. So you know, I might want to do something with the inside. And I have more of that paper, the kit. These are like the journaling cards. Well, journaling card size anyway. You can use them for whatever you want to. Where is my glue? I know it's sitting right in front of me. There you are. And my book. All right. I'm sure I'm in the frame. <laughs> I am just going to put some glue on, on there. And get this lined up. like that so that's right <laughs> almost thought uh oh <laughs> but no 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 we're good we're good okay so I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut around here Because you might want to wait until you're done to round the corners. <laughs> you know, that might be, that might have been a good idea is to wait until we were done to round the corners. Well, never mind. Okay. So there's that. And we need something here. And I've got all these cutouts from, from the kit, so hang on here, I need to get myself on the chair. I seem to want to slide forward all the time on the chair. all inked up good. And let's put that right there, huh? I like that. So I'm going to get over here to my glue and just get some glue down on there. Backside. Yeah, there we go. That works. Put that down and then um, do some more decorating of it. Get some ink down here. I hope everyone's well, having a great day. Eh. Got 
I got ink every I mean glue everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see here. Get that on there so it's covering everything. Just just fits. That's one of our little scraps. Well, that's always good, huh? <laughs> Utilize the scraps during the process. Okay. Okay, so now this is what we have, and I've left this plain because we're going to bring this up like that, and we're going to glue down on either side, just a little, little bead of glue on each side there, bring that together and glue down those sides to make a little pocket. There we go. Okay. And we can do some more um, embellishing or decorating and in, inside here if we wanted we have something we want to use Got all these little bits from the kit it's just so much to work work with it's just just absolutely wonderful but you know what I don't think I'm going to because I am going to put in what are we going to put in? We're going to put in some little we could put in tags we could make, make some tags from papers from the kit Let's do that, huh? Let's just find some papers from the kit and make some tags. Okay, here we go. So, and we'll make we'll make enough for for all three of those, huh? Oh, I've got bits and bobs everywhere on my desk. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take off that white. that the, the cutter works better when you're bringing it towards you like this rather than pushing it away. I don't know why. Does anyone else? Has anyone else discovered that? I don't know what it is, but it just cuts smoother and I don't know. So, okay, we want to make little tags, not, not our normal size tags. We just want just want little ones. So, oh, oh, you know what? 
We forgot something. Okay, we, we glued down the two sides. We forgot to glue. Oh, but you know what? Never mind. We did not forget. We were being smart. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make this one and a half inch. Yeah, why not? One and a half inch. Let's get another one. One and a half inch. Oops. Okay. And then we want... So we want them... Um, uh, no more than that. So... That is about... Okay, two... Two and th three fourths. Two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. Two and a half. And this one. That's another stick. Okay. Two. Two and three fourths. Two and a half. Two and a half. What's this one ended up being? Well, that's that's going to be a little bit too long. Two. <laughs> Make a baby one. Okay. Now we have to get our tag shape. So, this is always fun. <laughs> Let's push that over like that. And... Boy. Oh, like that. Mm, it's not my favorite, sh most favorite shape, but. That didn't work out very well. That's not party. I need to get myself a little template that I can use all the time. Well, I had, thought I thought I had one, but I make little templates and then I don't know what happens to them. Okay, I am going to pause this for a second while I get the rest of these done because you don't need to sit and watch this forever. Okay, we are done making our little tag shapes. And those look wider than these. <laughs> oh, don't know why these are wider. Huh. Let's see, I'm just trying to get them sorted to size. Oh. Right, that goes to that, sh that goes to there. Okay. And we're just going to ink up around the edges of all of these. Okay, we're all inked up. And uh, we have our little, little tags here. Well, they're all pretty plain, huh? So we're going to have to do something about that, aren't we? <laughs> Little tiny collages. Huh? Oops. 
thing enough there. Yeah, it looks like I didn't quite get that. Okay, that little bit of inking around the edge will take off any white that's showing that you didn't quite get good enough. Oh. So, let's do that. And, oh boy. My desk is just a mess, and I get all these things straightened out, and then I <laughs> push them to the sides to make room, and then I get them all jambled up again. It's got to be a better way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm not doing a good, <laughs> good job with that, am I? So, the, yeah, these are all elements from the kit that you can cut out and use uh, for collaging or decorating or whatever you want to do. It's uh, we have a lot of shapes and stuff to, to use. You know what would be fun? I always, I always enjoy doing this on little tags. Well, on any tags, really. Is um, put on a belly band on a tag. Yeah. Maybe I should use a longer one and cut it down, huh? I think so. Let's use a longer one. Get it on there like that. Okay, so I want to go down the, no, I don't want to go down the sides. I want to go across the top. Oh, I would have been dumb, wouldn't it? <laughs> go down the sides. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's just close off this belly band all together. Of course, it could be just a decoration, too. Doesn't necessarily have to be a belly band, but I thought it might be fun. Okay, got that side. Now we got the measurement for the bottom. Ink that and put a little bit of glue down here. Okay. And now I'm going to take an element. These aren't from this kit, but they are from um, Happiness and Crafting. So I'm just going to put a little, little tuck in there for that one. So that's done. And this one that down like that. Huh? Okay, that's not a bit. <laughs> yeah, these are, are from Happiness and Crafting. They're just um, little bits. From, an, from another kit, I was wondering if we couldn't incorporate. And I was looking for little ones. 
Oh, there's a little one. I'm going to take that down a little bit more. Okay, get some glue on that. And just do right like there. There we go. This one. Um, yeah, just like that. Um, where is the words? She has words. Um, bup, 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 bup. I knew I had a bunch of them. Hang on. No, oh, I don't know what happened to. I thought I did. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Okay, those are too big. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. This will work. Unfortunately, they're not cut out yet. These are also happiness and crafting. Let's see. Well, I think this is what we want. Some of these. Those are too big. Those are going the wrong way. Yeah. Let's see. I um, reduced these down when I printed them. I think I might have reduced them just ever so slightly too much but they I might be the right size for these little tags <laughs> that's a trick I've just recently learned actually is that you can print digitals and you know adjust the sizes and uh, uh oh there it is turn a full page into a half page turn a full page into like a journaling card size um, change the size of ephemera you know these little bits these little bits, I mean, you could make those smaller, make them bigger, totally change it. I don't know why I hadn't thought about that until recently. It's like, wow, that's a whole whole new ball game, isn't it? You know, <laughs> a whole different change it into something totally different just by changing the size you're printing it at. There. There we go. Okay. Let's see. There's no oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, this is all happiness and crafting, but this is elements from a different kit. Go and uh, 
Let's see. We could do right along there like that. That could be oh no, really? That could be like a little tuck spot. Oh my goodness, how cute. Look at that. Put a little 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 bit of glue on three sides there and line that up with this edge <laughs> look at that would you please and find a little something something to tuck in Oh, that's too big, isn't it? Mm. There we go. This one's good. It's, it was done on cardstock, so it's a little bit. There we go. Isn't that cute? <laughs> awesome. Okay. We are cooking with gas now, aren't we, guys? Let's see. Oh, geez. Got hearts. Got tons of hearts over here. Tons of hearts are in the kit. Different sizes. Of course, like I said, you can print in all all kinds of sizes. So. Let's see. Mm. 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 Yeah, you can print in all kinds of sizes, so. And that size stop you. That's a piece of piece of ribbon. I'm just going to put that right about here. down right there and let's see about another little word huh I love using words little sentiments and stuff little messages You never know. That one little word could make all the difference for somebody, you know? <laughs> when I printed these out, I didn't didn't know I'd be doing this, so really glad that I did print of course I it's hard to tell I'm print I print from my phone and you know I can reduce and change and what have you but if it's a JPEG I think it's JPEG where I can do that with if it's a PDF I'm kind of stuck with whatever size it is for some reason, I can't seem to change that size. There. Straight. 
strong. I mean, you could just go to town with these things, couldn't you? you could just decorate and decorate and decorate. Yes, it would. And that would be perfect. Put some glue on there. No glue on there. Awesome. <laughs> perfect, 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 huh? Oh my goodness. That's just all this, all this wonderful stuff to work with. I love this kit. That's pretty. Where does that go? This way. A little more contrast on that one. I like this shape for this tag. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. <laughs> if I pick the same thing twice, then that must be it. Okay. Glue on that. And right there we are. Okay. All right. We got all our our liar pretty little tags made. Okay. Now we can bring these guys back over. So this is still open here. Right? Um we need to get some ribbon. You can also use string, whatever you have. We want to feed that ribbon in there. Okay. And then you can glue it. Just along the bottom is fine. So the, the string, I mean the string or the ribbon, what have you, will still float around, but it's also encased. So this can either be something you tuck into a pocket or something you just glue down onto a page, either way. So... Let's get out our little tags and see who we want to put in this one. That is so cute. That is so cute. Let's see. What sizes do we have? I might have made too many tags for these little guys. but <laughs> There we go. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? And then... You just tie this in a bow, and you can use ribbon, you could use string, twine, piece of lace, uh, seam binding, ooh, seam binding would work out really well. I need to find my seam binding. It got lost in my basket where I keep... Oh, that's not one of them. Okay, so it just 
that just keeps it closed like that. And then you undo the bow and look inside and you got your pretty little tags. So like this could stick in a pocket or be glued down, whichever you want to do. So isn't that, isn't that cute? I love these little things. So let's do this one just for the sake of time. Um, this one we don't have to do a lot of decorating because, because of the paper, you know. This circ circular thing, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. I'm just gonna put it down. Over to the side, just a little bit, not quite in the middle. And I thought maybe some of this trim might be nice. Hmm? What do you think? I don't use this trim as 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 much as I thought I would. Um, but uh, oops, oops, I think yeah, it goes this way. It definitely has a right and wrong way. Okay, so I am going to put glue down the middle of that so I can kind of mold it around. Oops, maybe. You know, guys, the other day I went to a flea market. We don't have, we don't really have those around here, but I did see an ad for a flea market that was going to be in one of the um, places where they usually have the um, county fairs. And I thought, well, gee, if it's a nice day and I can, you know, we can use our scooters. Um, that, that would be fun because a building like that will be accessible, you know. I, I can't go to garage sales or yard sales much anymore because, or especially estate sales because, you know, the house is rarely accessible. And even, even when it's in a driveway, a lot of times it's not accessible. Which, you know, that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so we went to this um, flea market. And I found these great old, old books. I mean, they're just fabulous. Um, pages, oh my God. They have aged to such a beautiful color. And I was just so so happy to find them right and uh the other day i oh geez what was it anyway it, it must have been a a video i was watching but the gal had mentioned the fact that you have to be careful with these old books that you buy because there could be bed bugs in them. <laughs> and I am like, oh my God, I never even thought of that. Uh, but yeah, there could be bed bugs in these, these old books. So yeah, she talked about how you check check the the bindings on the inside 
for, you know, for their little leavings. You know, finding the bed bugs themselves, you might not be able to spot, but you might be able to spot the droppings and stuff. So, so she said, check the seams really well. Um, and if you're not sure, put them in some kind of airtight container for a week or two. And uh, make sure if there is any of those little guys in there that they're good and dead, you know. So, yeah, put them in an airtight container for a couple weeks um, if you're not sure. But she said, yeah, check out these books really closely because they, they could have bed bugs. And I never thought. I just, I never thought. So, yeah, I was... Very, very happy to get that information, even though it was like, oh, no. <laughs> I, I did check out the books that I got, and I, I don't see any signs of anything. But, yeah, it's something to keep in mind. We're, you know, we're always looking for things like that, and we're always so happy when we run across it, and yet... You know, you could be asking for a lot of trouble bringing it into your home. So I just thought I would pass that little little nugget along. Okay. going to add this along here just because I can. Just because I can. <laughs> so, there we go, guys. Aren't those just adorable? Oh, you can make these all day long. You can make the base, you know, that could be made out of scrap material you know eight inches about eight inches long give or take I mean you could adjust the size you know depending on whether you want it bigger or smaller you could adjust that size and the width of course that can be adjusted too this started out eight inches long and three inches wide but yeah you can you can make all kinds of adjustments. Well, if I could do a bow, that would be good. Some people do bows so pretty, so quickly. And their, their little thingies always come out right. They always lay right. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what the secret is. Well, that's not it. There we go. Ha ha. I probably should have kept that ribbon a little longer. Maybe it wouldn't have been so hard. But <laughs> anyway, there we go, guys. Um couple of these little doodads to stick in pockets, uh, you know, glue down to a page, whatever, little tuck spots. I mean, you could totally glue it down on a couple of sides here and then have a tuck spot, you know, behind it as well. So, yeah, just great little elements to be able to put into your journals. So, yeah. Another one down in our guest design team June project for happiness and crafting. Until next time, ladies, take care of you, love each other, and I'll see you again. Bye. Thanks for joining me.